Alrighty, go ahead and kick it off, Brandon. All right, awesome. So, welcome everybody to the Armored Combat Escalation Services podcast number zero. This will be the technically the first episode, but not really the first episode type of thing. This is kind of just the ground out how everything's going to go. So, today is Monday, September 15th, 2014. I am your host, Brandon. I also go by Catra Kell, and today with me is a whole bunch of ACES members. Uh, just to name a few, we have Pancake Man, Pooh, Typhus, Kamikaze Rush, MechWarrior21, Michael Korinsky, Sinister Socks, Tychron, and an applicant who is Panda Shriek. So, that is who is with us here today. Hopefully more people will show up in the future. So as for news in the unit, um, the Aces faction is now set up on MWO. If you have not gotten your unit tags or game invite, please let someone know. As of right now, everybody who is in the unit has a, a, the ability to invite people until a future point in time. Um, moving on to some announcements and that sort of fun stuff. Uh, awards that were awarded uh, between August 25th, 2014 to September 15th, uh, we had Tychron who got his Assault Unobtainium and High Damage Club awards, the Black Knight who got his Light Unobtainium, Shadowbane with his Lightning Strike Lance award, Man of Athens with a Medium, Bronze, and Heavy Bronze awards. Bala! Hell yeah, more awards, more fun. Uh, I'd also like to remind everyone at this time that if you have an idea for awards, um, please definitely check out that thread on the forums and give your suggestions towards more things for people to try to obtain and have fun with. I like medals. Medals are great. Uh, like medals. <laughs> we've had a couple uh, new unit, uh, new members and uh, people promoted throughout the uh, past couple days, uh, August 25th, uh, 2014, again until September 15th. We had Tychron, who was actually supposed to be brought up to uh, Jack after his probation period, but somehow that got delayed. I think someone was slacking, um, not pointing fingers at myself at all. Uh, no, no, but no, he no. is now... <laughs> uh, Tychron is now a full member of Aces. Welcome home. Thank um, you. We also have three new kings who were brought up. Um, we have our own Thunderheart. Uh, as you can see, he's now uh, wearing the new unit leader tags. Uh, we had Jackknife of the U uh, UK forces. Uh, he was brought up to a king promotion. And same with Finring. He was also brought up to king promotion. If there's Yay. any questions or comments about that. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I think we picked good guys this time. Hopefully they won't leave us in the middle of a campaign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, for some upcoming events uh, in the future, uh, Monday practices at 8 p.m. Eastern, that is every single week. Um, so right after this podcast, we'll be going right straight into practice. I hope everyone will be able to make it. Of course, we got the Run Hot or Die 4v4 tor uh, tournament. Uh, hopefully, we will continue to improve and have fun with that. Uh, let's have some real talk here real quick. Uh, Merrick Civil War 4, um, do we want to do this as a unit again? Uh, I'll probably be making a post on the forums about this, but I mean, this is an open mic discussion. Uh, what's people's thoughts about it? There's, of course, a couple new rules and stuff like that, including a, um, I believe it's a mercenary or pirate uh, faction rule set where it'll only be 8v8, so much smaller teams, much more open map type of thing. Uh, let's open the floor up to whoever wants to just X up, and I'll call on someone to open mic. Um, do we want to do... Merrick Civil War, Season 4. Pancake. <laughs> um, well, I guess, I guess before we do anything is... Uh, how many... What are we in tournament-wise right now? We're in the Run, Hunter, Die 4v4, right? Uh, we're in Run, yes. Hunter, Die. I believe we have some people in the Nova Cat 6 vs. 6. And I believe there's a 2v2 tournament as well. This Friday. Yeah, yeah, this Friday yeah. is a 2v2 tournament, uh, but that's that's a short tournament as well. That's not for a long-lasting type of thing. No, um, yes. these Novacat tourneys start on starting in on the same day. So yeah, if, so it's... Um, if I remember correctly, it starts at 5.30 in the afternoon. 4.30. 4.30. 4 
Uh, and then continues to, they said, hopefully no later than midnight. Mm-hmm. So that's a, yeah, that, that's a haul. If, uh, I think right now Sinister and Khan are involved, as well as me and Mecha in the first one this Friday. Yeah, if you, uh, if you keep winning with whoever you're selected with from another clan, I mean, you may, you may play for eight hours. Uh, question about that, actually, Typhus, uh, Pancake put up the uh, tournament roster, and I did not see myself or Sinister listed on it. Right. Uh, as of right now, Thunder and Finn are on that roster, but no. Skeletor said that you two, Sinister and Khan, can be changed any time. I have actually already submitted that. Um, okay. Finn couldn't make it because his wife doesn't get off till I think, 530 and once the tournament starts, there are no roster changes. So I had to I had to move that stuff around. But yeah, Tychron and Sinister, you guys are both on the roster. Um, let me double check my mail, Hal, because I submitted I submitted the final roster when. Let me see. What is today? I don't even know what today is. Monday. Today's Monday. Today yeah, is Monday all day. All day. So, uh, right now, uh, Typha, Mechus, uh, Tyrkon, <laughs> and Thunder are on first string. Um, I haven't heard anything from Mecha, so Sinister, you're probably going to be taking Mecha's spot if he shows up or or doesn't show up and can't make it. So, um, that's that's kind of where we're at right now, okay. as far as that's concerned. Uh, there might be a problem with that now. Uh, when the the roster that you put up, I thought that was the final one. So I have to go out of town tomorrow for work. I won't be getting back until like four thirty, maybe five o'clock on Friday. So oh. yeah, uh, I guess okay. that's a bit of miscommunication there and everything. But gotcha. Uh, well, we can we can play with that. Um, okay. You know, I can give you my phone number or whatever, and then you can just call me or do whatever you need to do to kind of let us know what's going on. So. Okay. But okay, cool. Well, I think uh, I think that's been ironed out. Um, and the six v six is going to be three aces, picked from the ranks here, and they will be paired with three other people for six v six tournament. Um, as I understand it, it's basically going to work the same way. It starts the same day, ends the same day. Awesome. All right. So of course, Merrick Civil War is a long-lasting campaign. I think the last one we took part was number two, and that lasted what? Four months? Yeah. Something like that. A really yeah. long time. Because of that, we got really burnt out and didn't join Season 3. Season 4 is beginning back up, and there's new rules and everything like that, and it's actually looking pretty good. Um, so, again, I'm going to put a post on the forums if people... Okay, Typhus, go ahead. No, I was just going to let you finish. Uh, I was just going to say that um, we might want to look at being involved in this. Been a while since we've really been in anything competitive like that you know four on four two v two six on six yeah that's cool and all but it would be great to have eight eight or eight to twelve aces in a drop again wouldn't it oh yeah yep. i'd be interested sounds like fun yeah <laughs> and that right, gives so... that one one last thing that also gives us the ability to let more people play we have to yeah. draw on aces ranks a lot more for an aviator 12 v 12 so go ahead catch all else? right, so I think the consensus here is that everyone's kind of interested in it. Again, I'll make a post on the forums, let let me know what's going on, that sort of thing. Let me know how people are feeling. Uh, another thing I want to bring up, um, I know Season 2 should be starting up here soon, but that is the 1v1 and 2v2. I think it's done by uh, a, a user by Han Solo. And he's been running a 1v1, 2v2 mech league for a little bit. I'll find a little bit more information about it. I'll see if I can get a link for people later on as well. Um, but if you're into that, it's a it's an actual ladder format. So you knock out the guy ahead of you and you take his spot type of thing. And then people can challenge downwards, upwards, that sort of thing. Um, so if people are kind of interested in that, I'll get all the information for you as well. I just noticed that a couple days ago before I forgot to add it into the show notes. So with all the news, upcoming events and everything out of the way... Let's get into the real meat of everything, which is our general talk. So, this is episode zero. This is the first episode, well, 
first episode air quotes around that because it is episode zero. Um, let's have a real Aces heart to heart chat. Something we haven't done in a really long time with everyone's here. Um, so it's been Jesus, uh, probably over seven months since our last big group meeting. Since we yeah. actually all sat down <laughs> together and had a meeting and talked things out and everything like that. And that's what I really want to focus on these here. Um, so we've had a really we've we've been wanting to do another one of these for a really long time, and things have been coming up blocking the way. People have been coming and going, that sort of thing. Um, but it really has been our fault, uh, the leaders of Aces, for not getting this together sooner enough. And for that, we want to apologize. And we'll hopefully with this podcast, um, we will try to get things back in order and on the way. So with that being said, um, we want to get back on a regular meeting, a regular training time. And we want to get back into the game as a unit and be that number one spot again. So, how are we going to change this? Uh, does anyone have any ideas? Please X up if you do. Hint, hint at other unit leaders. Mm. <laughs> Jeez. Come on, guys, rush, go! Uh, so, um... I've done this in other games, but we don't have like a cadet group at all where we take people who are really good at certain mechs or certain classes and train other people. I don't know if that's feasible or not. Uh, well, actually, I made a post about that months ago. It's been a long time since I... Um, so I don't know how buried it is, but I did mention that... Um, if anybody that is good in, uh, let's say, a mech chassis, like you're good in an Atlas or you're good in a Jenner, um, totally open to letting those good players teach other people how to play the game in the mech itself. So, like, I would choose a Victor, let's say, and if someone like, I don't know, Von Kessel wanted to learn how to play a Victor better, then he would drop with me and basically follow my footsteps to the match. Give but him counters and things. Go ahead. So, but how do we qualify someone who's like can teach other people? So, I mean, you, you, we all know certain people are good at certain mechs, but what if someone said, "Oh, I want to start teaching other people how to do this"? Is there a way we can say like you maybe or may not be qualified to teach a certain chassis? I, everyone can teach a little bit at least. No one know less. I mean, well, I'm well, not as good as Typhoon, but. Like or a new guy. player. Sorry, sorry, Kami, what? Well, that was kind of the idea behind the Vanguards, was to have somebody that could teach new players. Um, you know, that was that was kind of what we were going for. Um, you know, where you could get onto the Aces TeamSpeak and say, well, I don't know anything about X, Y, or Z mech. Browse down, say, oh, he's got a V for a Vanguard. And, you know, you kind of talk to that person about whatever mech you're interested in. And if they can't do it, then they can refer you to someone who can, another Vanguard who can. Um, and that was that was kind of what we were hoping to achieve. And I think it was not advertised as well as it could be or should have been, perhaps, would be a good word for it. Yeah, I, I think uh, we, we didn't really uh, keep on that. Um, but that'll change in the future. I've I like the idea of having trainers uh, for, for mech chassis. I think it'd be great. Especially, um, it should be a lot easier now that we're, that we're starting the uh, Lance program as well. Um, the four-man Lance program. Especially in the pug queue. The pug queue, if you're getting a four-band together, maybe you all... Well, you can't drop all lights anymore, but maybe three of you are going to drop lights and one in a medium. And you go out to try to actually learn um, something or... Uh, uh, get a certain job accomplished and that sort of thing. But yeah, I, I totally agree. I think the cadet program or a cadet-like program, um, we originally wanted to put one in before. I don't think it went as well as we could have, so maybe we should reassess it, um, rebuild it, and restart it. Yep, that's something that can be worked on. Awesome. Ooh, yeah. Anybody else? 
con. Well, I know we've talked, uh, at least in private, a few times about using the private matchmaking system to just, you know, take people out and run around the map and learn more about the maps because we kind of have a tendency to always go certain routes on maps and other groups do it too. Uh, I mean, you're on Alpine Peak, take the hill. You try to take the hill or you fight around the comm tower. That's the accepted way to do things. But there are a ton of different areas on each map that could be better utilized. And we have talked in the past about utilizing the private matchmaking system not to run a match, but just to do a practice where we take people out and guide them around and say, okay, in this area of the map here, you can set up on this ridge and fire down on someone, lure them in. Uh, there are, you know, there are advantages here. You don't want to be caught out on this part here on Termaline, though, because it's a complete another box of death. You will get slaughtered if you get caught in this spot. And I think to go back to what Kami, Kamikaze was saying uh, for teaching about backpiloting certain chassis, I think we could utilize the private matchmaking system in the same manner. Uh, I know there are a number of us that have premium time that you know, run you know, a private you know, training session with utilizing that you know, not full teams option that way to so. Again, another good idea. Um, I like it. I was kind of thinking maybe that, you know, we, we have Mondays as a normal practice where we go into private match and we split the teams up um, and we try to run the same tonnage. So that's normal. Then I thought maybe we do uh, Thursday or Friday, which I have a post about as a second practice. And that one would be more used for what Khan is talking about. You know, spend 15 minutes running around the map you know, showing people, you know, if you stand here on this mountain in Alpine, you can see that firing location where people stand, and that one also. It also covers you from another. And then you'll also be aware if you're allowed to stand there for a second, not being shot at, you can, you know, um, look at all the ranges, know exactly how far away you are from a favorite spot that people go to. I have no problem with that. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, I love it. I think there's a something we used in the past. Uh, I forget Map what it tactics. was. But it, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. It's kind of like a whiteboard type deal. And I think that would mm -hmm. be super useful. I think if you have a second monitor, I, I mean, I realize not all of you do, but if you do, um, you know, if you, you can use that that second monitor as kind of a, a CNC where you can kind of be playing MechWarrior, but see what's going on, you know, if someone is leading a drop, you know, where they can say, okay, we're going to go here, there, or wherever. Yeah, I was going to say Sinister, go ahead and post that. Yeah, Sinister's been using it uh, for Run, Hot, or Die. Um, and it's the same program. They have all the maps. I think when we were using it, they didn't have Tourmaline or something at the time. Yeah. One of the new maps they didn't have. But they have all the maps now. Uh, and it's the same. You can drop mech icons, you know, draw circles and stars and all that other crap. So, yeah. And it's totally open. So, if, like, we all booted up map tactics right now, all of us could draw on the board and see um, you know, what people are talking about. You know, like yeah, what the saddle is on Crimson Strait or you know, the importance of D5 and um, uh, Caustic. So I think that's something we can do too with map tactics. Involve that also with the uh, open field training. Yeah. Well, and you know, a lot of people have questions or maybe they're not comfortable i guess to ask questions or whatever but um you know if you guys have suggestions or ideas or i mean complaints whatever you know make a make a post on the forums or get a hold of me or one of the unit leaders you know i mean you know sinister basically said hey you know can i be a moderator and i was like yeah and basically the whole the whole mech build section of the forum sinister gets to moderate so, you know, that takes a load off of me and he can organize it and he's done a great job. So if you guys have any ideas, questions, comments, you know, we're more than open. We're more than willing to 
make changes in aces and you know we're not you just just because we have unit leader tags or ace tags or whatever the case may be you know we're not any more or less important than anybody else you know we just have a little bit more responsibility so i mean you know we're all in this together so uh mikhail what's up so uh, we were talking about doing the whole uh premium time uh private match practice thing yeah. Um, with the new with the new units module, is there any way that because I've got like about four months of premium time that I don't use because I don't have enough time to play the game to take advantage of it? Is there any way that we can like donate that to the unit like or anything along those lines? Is there anything in game that allows us to 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 pass that off to another person so that it can actually become useful? Yeah, you give me your account information. <laughs> 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 Not right now, I don't believe there's no, no there's way to transfer okay. that stuff. All right. Then yeah, maybe we in the future. Draw bills, so. Yeah, all right. No, the only Okay, we'll discuss things later then cuz I could yeah. as he said, you know, give me give you my account information. You know what? I don't see where that's a problem. You know, um, there's actually a thread in the officer section. Um, I'm the only one that did it actually, but all the officers have access to my account if they need it. You know, they can get on at any point. Yeah. And like if for a tournament drop or something, if they need to use one of the mechs that I have that they don't, which I don't, I don't have any <laughs> mech. Yeah. You know? Um, but yeah, they have access to my account. They have my phone number. You know, I mean, I'm yeah. So. You know, I mean, I trust these guys with it. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't go around posting all your information in the general section of the forums, you know. Obviously. <laughs> but I mean, For no, a good yeah, time, call just... Pancake at 555. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. No, I mean, because think... it's... I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to get any use, use out of it uh, anytime soon. Because, I mean, I work a lot. And then when I'm not working, I have other business-related stuff that I have to do. And, you know, I mean, I don't get as much time on in games as I'd like to. Uh, which is why I really didn't make much of an appearance in the last couple of tournaments. Um, but I mean, I don't know, man. It's like, it's all been building up since, uh, since back in the founder days and I just, have never used any. So yeah, what the hell, why not? I was in the same boat as Michael. I actually have a full year's worth of, uh, premium time that I just started two weeks ago. And if there had been a way to transfer some of it, yeah, I would have given it out by now, but until that comes along i'm stuck with it and well i'll enjoy the most of it yeah, yeah no fair enough but it's it's just one of those things there that i think uh somebody should pass on to the developers then if that's the case uh it's like hey why don't we donate this to the unit commanders or our units in general in game so that it could be used towards unit related unit related activities and tournaments and things like that i mean it just like a good idea yeah, to me. It's definitely something to look into. Um I think uh Cactus probably got the most pull, you know, as he's and got some access to the NGNG stuff. So um yeah, we may be able to throw something up the ladder there. But um I kinda wanna yeah. I kinda wanna steer us uh, into our next section, because uh, we got about ten minutes left or so it's four thirty. Um I kinda wanna finish by twenty till just to kinda get the ball rolling for practice. Um so we talked about, what did we talk about? All the tournament stuff. Um, do you guys have any questions or comments about any tournament situations that's going on right now? One thing is, I, I think you should post, or I think actually there is a post, but you should fix it or create a new one saying which mechs you, you think they're the most for us to have and train on. Okay, tournaments. perfect. That's actually a really good segue, Vaughn. Um, that's actually one of the deals on our list here was um, what mechs to have and why. Why do we need these mechs? Um, and I think Typhus can probably explain that best as he's uh, eyeballs deep in the whole tournament situation. Uh, yeah. Um, well, I would say that we could probably put a post in the... Um... Mech, the, the, the mech list section and you know we could put up you know these are the mechs that you need these are the light mechs the heavies and mediums and the and the assaults and actually post this murphy links right there so people aren't just reading well i need a victor but which one and what's it look like um right now currently in the tournaments that we're involved in you don't really need to worry about clan mechs 
you know, mastering those clan mechs, getting good with them, because right now, uh, the only ones that we have open to us are only up to the summoner. So it's the summoner, the stormcrow. I mean, I'm the summoner, the nova, and the kit fox. Can anybody correct me on that? Uh, currently, yeah. yes. Uh, the summoner is going to be available for this second round coming up in yes. Run Hot or Die, uh, and yeah. Dire Wolf will be coming available. I want to say for round three, it might be uh, up there because it'll be available for C bills by then, I believe. Okay, so like I said, there aren't a whole lot of clan mechs that we can use in tournaments that we're involved in. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna use mech wise in Merrick um, yet. Uh, as for IS mechs, uh, I mean the classics pretty much still apply. Uh, your atlases. Um, we have had a medium use for stalkers because they're tall and all their all their weapons mount high. Uh, the Victor, of course, it's the uh, the old classic jump sniper, and the Highlander, 33C. Um, as for IS assaults, that's really it. Uh, we might get a crazy hair and still use the uh, the awesome 8R for missile support. Um, for heavies, uh, Jaeger Max, all their weapons mount high. Right now, we're using uh, dual Goss Jaegers in some of our builds. Um, and then there's always the Cataphract. Uh, second to the Jaeger mech, I would say, right now in our use. Um, and then the Summoner coming up in this next round. It's, uh, it's fast. It has lots of jump jets, so it's very mobile. doesn't carry the firepower like the long-range punch of the Jaeger mech. Um, but, of course, the Jaeger mech is a lot slower. Um, Speaking of the uh, the summoner, I just want to pipe up here. Uh, there is a build that I came up with. It's a very good build. If you want to get a feel for what the summoner is like, I would highly recommend building it. It's going to be running pretty hot. It's going to be running low on ammo. But if you're able to, uh, if you're able to master that sort of stuff, I think you'll it'll fit right into your regular day. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll get a post up for that. Um, and try to keep it up to date for patches and tournaments that we're in. And it will list all of the mechs and chassis in order from light to assault. Yeah, we'll work on that too. I'll get Excellent. with socks and see what we can come up with. And if you guys need another section, if you want like like a meta section, um, I can make you another section um, when mechs easily done. So. Yeah, I, I also wanted to... yeah. A meta section. I didn't think of that, but I did want to start a like a meta discussion on certain things, like certain weapons, um, certain maps, uh, certain mechs. You know, certain equipment things. You know, like how how important is a targeting computer to a clan? And you know, go over the different targeting computers. You know, for different weapons. Hmm, I like it. Yeah. You know, we I could did. have a weapons section too in the forums. Uh, yeah, that was kind of part of that. You know, talking about weapons, what they do, how they can be used, how they're best used, uh, what's their advantages and disadvantages. I know all that is in the game itself, and you can look at the numbers, but to have a debate about it is, I think, would be a good idea. Yeah, that's awesome. Anybody else have any ideas uh, as far as that's concerned? No? Good. <laughs> okay, uh... I don't I like think... crickets, guys. <laughs> I think we're questions. Getting close to... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to. Yeah, questions. Sorry. I'm just babbling. Anything you guys want to talk about in the time we have left? Anybody? Does anybody oh. know if the summoner is actually going to have an ECM suite once they put it out? Uh, no, not the summoner. No. The Hellbringer. The, the Hellbringer. Or the Loki, might. as it's called. Oh, got it. Okay. It'd be the first yeah. ECM heavy. Be the first ECM anything heavier than a medium. That's the cicada yep. that carries it. Anything heavier than a 40 ton, i.e. a light mech that's not actually a light mech. Hmm. Try hard. <laughs> I wanna bring um I wanna bring something up. Uh I had an idea for a little bit. I've been crafting it in the back of my head for a while now. Um and it wasn't until I'd say probably a little bit ago that someone mentioned it on the forum somewhere, and I'm not sure who it was, but um, I saw it in passing. And 
Aces always talks about, or we have in the past, how we want to run an event. Um, and it never happens. We get it all planned, pretty much ready to go, but it just doesn't come to be done. Um, but I want to start running something that's like a campaign night, which is a little bit of mix of tabletop with a little bit mix of MWO. Yes. <laughs> and what I mean by this, these will be probably small groups, uh, probably no bigger than 10. Um, and what I mean, it's going to be like one lance on one lance, or two lances on one clan star, or two lances versus two lances, that sort of thing. But this is where it's going to get interesting. Um, all the mechs and the lances are going to be decided by dice roll. So no ma nothing's going to be always the same. So what I mean by this is, so for example, lance one will begin by rolling a 2d6. Now, if it rolls between a 1 and a 4, that lance is a light lance. If it rolls a 5 to 7, it's a medium lance. 8 to 10, heavy. 11 to 12, assault. Lance 2 now rolls. So you can, we can also weigh this a little bit to uh, get kind of what we want, but there's always that chance of ram randomness. So Lance 2 will roll 2d6 as well. Uh, 1 to 6 is a light lance, so they have a higher chance of becoming lights. 7 to 10 is medium, 11 is heavy, and 12 is assault. The same thing can be done to the clan, so this is where we'll get some interesting things. So, we have this, which is custom lances uh, rolled at random. And on top of that, we can have, thanks to private matches, custom scenarios now. So, what if Team 1 has to cap Gamma by a certain time, while Team 2 defends it. That sort of thing. Um, I think it goes without saying that people are would be very excited for this sort of thing. Uh, I want to get your guys' feedback, of course, though, so the floor is now open. I want this. <laughs> <laughs> there needs to be an actual rolling of the dice. We nice. can get sound effects, and probably some sort of cam. Nice. <laughs> So yeah, wouldn't that be something? We can have like scenarios based on die rolls too. Yeah, sure. If if it if you we want to do that sort of thing, we could totally do that. Uh, whether it be a cap and hold, whether it be total destruction, that sort of thing. Of course, we got to keep it within the limits of MWO. We could even potentially. I was thinking about this. I didn't think about it at the time, but I've been thinking we could even have like a VIP mode where it would be one lance versus one lance, but one lance has five mechs. The other has four, and one mech is like a VIP, and one team has to kill it, but the other team has to defend them, type of thing. <laughs> there, there's a ton. Yes. There's, there's a ton of different things we can do thanks to the private matches that I think could be really interesting. Um, that I don't think a lot of people are using to its um, full potential. So I want to be the first unit, the first Merc Corps to take full use of what we can do with the private matches. And have some fun with it. I, th I hope it will bring a lot of people back out to play that might we might not have seen for a little bit. Because, again, this is going to be a, a for fun campaign type thing. Um, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll probably make a post on the forums about it. We could come up with rules, custom rule sets, custom uh, game modes that we could all vote on. That sort of thing. And we'll see how it goes. But I think just from the feedback already, I think everyone's pretty much down for it. So I don't think it's going to be that hard to pers persuade everyone to get on board with this. I mean, hey, you get to shoot aces and brag about it. And you don't have anybody to worry about, like, flipping the table. <laughs> <laughs> and, and when true. I say I've had this... Um, this is in my head for a little while. We already get awards for people turning out, hopefully, to these events. Oh, yeah, uh, the gold star. Yes, I, I'm glad someone has uh, seen that. Uh, but, yeah, the, the, gold store, the gold star has been sitting there probably for a long, long while now. So I've been, I've been trying to craft this sort of thing for a little bit, and finally I think it's ready to be presented um hopefully everyone will get on board and i think we have enough interest that people will come out and have some fun that's awesome it, it's always looked so lonely 
<laughs> Sitting there at the bottom of the awards list. Well, uh, Brandon, what do you say? Wrap it up? Pretty close? I'd say so. Okay. Um, so, next week, uh, same time, same place. Uh, hopefully, we'll, we'll, we'll tr I'll put up another post on the forums about what we want to discuss this time. Uh, it could be even the new mechs that were announced today. Bum, bum, bum. And how <laughs> we dog. feel about them and that sort of fun stuff. Um, and I'll see about maybe putting up a poll uh, or something about... Actually, I'll have to talk to some of the higher-ups and see... Or maybe just some people in general. I don't want to keep it closed door. Uh, about maybe having our first mech to talk about for something that you should own in your mech bay. Aside from a post, of course. Uh, so hopefully next week we'll see everyone here. Have some fun and that sort of thing. But right now, I think it's time to get into some practice. So for that... This has been your Armored Combat Escalation Service Podcast. I was your host, Brandon, also known as Catrick Hill. Have a good night.